It's unusual for England to qualify for the knockout stages of the World Cup with a game to spare, but it is even more unusual that defeat in their last group match could actually be beneficial. Yet that is the predicament Gareth Southgate finds himself in ahead of Thursday night's clash with Belgium. One half of the draw features four previous World Cup winners with ten titles between them, the other just a single, one-time winner. Germany's elimination, coupled with Argentina's failure to top their group, has left the bottom half of the draw very light on quality, and that is the half that the runner-up for England's group, Group G, will end up in. As things stand, England know they will face either Japan or Colombia following Thursday's final Group H matches which saw Senegal eliminated having amassed more yellow cards than the Blue Samurai. If England finishes group winners, they will take on the runner-up from Group H before facing the winner of Brazil v Mexico in the quarter-finals. The three Lions semi-final opponents would then come from, France, Argentina, Uruguay or Portugal. It's a daunting route to the final. Contrastingly, if they finish as runners-up, England would face either Sweden or Switzerland in the quarter-finals, and then one of Spain, Russia, Croatia or Denmark in the semi-finals. Incredibly, for the top five highest-ranked nations according to FIFA, all of those that have progressed so far, which does not include number one-ranked nation Germany, are in the top half of the draw. No team in the top half of the draw is ranked lower than 15th in the world, with an average ranking of 7.6, while in the bottom half of the draw the lowest ranked side is hosts Russia, 70th, and the qualified teams have an average ranking of 23.6. We want to win every game of football we go into. I don't know how we would go into a game not wanting to win and not wanting to play well. I think that's dangerous territory if we start trying to plot and predict where we might end up. We had a really favorable draw, we all thought, in the last tournament against Iceland at Euro 2016, and it didn't work out that way. Southgate has already insisted that England will go into the match with the intention of winning the game, though Roberto Martinez is expected to make wholesale changes to his Belgium starting 11 and is happy to finish second. If the two teams draw, and thus are tied for points, goals for, against and goal difference, then the winner of the group will be decided on fair play, which tallies up each side's yellow and red cards. As things stand, Belgium are second having picked up one more yellow than England. If they are still tied after that, the winner will be determined by the drawing of lots.